clear. Start setting up. What's the meaning of this? Monsieur Secretaire General, we are with Rainbow. This location is compromised. Let's get you to the evac zone. And my security detail? It's too late for them now. Look sharp. Deimos is here. Mira, finish up and fall back. We lure him in and take him alive. Now! Three still standing. I don't come running! Disappointing. Rainbow operators were harder to kill. My day. Damn trigger soldiers. Not gonna happen. It's over, Deimos. And you will tell us everything. Nothing I say will save Rainbow. You're already dead. <laughs> we'll see about that. I've got him. You go make it. Sixty four of his artist love. The building with the nursery. Ores. What are you doing? Put it down! So he can be a chess piece for two countries playing nice. All that blood on his hands. But in two months, he'll be on the beach drinking mojitos. You know how it goes, Bogart. Our orders are extraction! God damn it, Gerald! You finally did it! Throw your career away! Rainbow doesn't matter. This, you and I, doesn't matter. I'm fighting for something greater now. Shame I can't take you with me. I'm gonna welcome you back. Well, Rainbow Six Siege is here. Season 9, well, it's going up with a bang. A big time. Now we know the real identity of Deimos. Deimos is Gerald Morris, a former Rainbow's operative that they thought was dead. But now is alive. Whoops. And it was pretty badass that Sam Fisher was fighting Deimos. Or Gerald Morris. And Gerald Morris, or Deimos, he seemed not impressed with Doc, Mira, or Rook at all. Like, he thought he could easily kill them before Rainbow were killers. Like, were 
really hard to kill and really hard to kill. And it kind of makes sense. It kind of makes sense that he wanted to get caught. He seemed like he was happy getting caught and wanting it. Because when Ash is now not in a coma, she's out of a coma, she's looking at the file, he's like, he's smiling, he's, even when he was getting caught, he seemed, he was actually enjoying it. I think he wanted to get caught. I think he was looking for something, or actually someone. And it actually confirms, actually gives more weight to my theory. I thought he was going to be the director an ex-director, but maybe he was a director. But now we know he for sure he was a Rainbow's recruit. That would make sense. That he was part of Rainbow. And and Nook's family, Nook's family is the Gardier family. And with my theory, I'm going to go back into it, but I will put a link so you can get a better explanation. I think the Gardier family is part of the administrative governmental part of Rainbow. And that's why they're very protected. And I think he was trying to get into the block site to get more of the family member that he needs of the Gardier family. So I think he was actually looking for somebody. And that's why he wanted to get caught. And from what he has said, I think now... He said that Rainbow is dead. I think there's traitors within Rainbow. And that would actually make it interesting. And actually kind of a scary implications. Deliciously scary. That who do you trust? It's kind of being a situation of a horror movie series called Werewolf Game. In Werewolf Game, you have to find the werewolves within the villagers. They're masquerading as villagers, and they'll kill all your villagers. So you have to kill the werewolves before they kill all your villagers. Or in the game Among Us, Among Us, you have to kill the imposters that are killing your villagers as well. I think there might be um, curious members, sleeper curious members in Rainbow itself. And that's why he's saying, oh, Rainbow's already dead. And what's the point of me... Of me saying anything. It's already dead. Ooh, does it have some dark implications? And he seemed enjoying getting caught. Like he wanted to get caught. To get a person. Thank you. Bye.